Hi Aries, this is your forecast for the month of March 2017. This is a general reading for Aries Sun, Aries Rising, or Aries Moon. If you have a different rising or moon sign, you might find watching those videos helpful or more informative for you. Please remember that these are general readings and so they may not apply to everyone. If you would like a personal reading that is specific to you, please visit my website at thealchemistastrologer.com. If you enjoyed February's love readings, then visit my Vimeo site by clicking the link in the description box. For the price of a latte, you can have access to the love reading for your sign, whether you're single, dating, or in a long-term relationship. And for those of you who have a birthday this month, happy birthday, Aries. So the first week of March, you are probably overwhelmed in some way. Now, this could be because you're working on something and you're scattering your energy here and there. Uh, there could be a general lack of organization. Maybe you're being impractical about something. Maybe you're confused and your thinking is not clear. Maybe you're having to make some type of choice and there's some indecision as to what is the best option for you. But you actually, you do have options, although some of them uh, are not as valuable as they first appear. So there could be a lack of focus and somewhat, you know, a tendency to fantasy or escapism. Now, hopefully that's not escapism through the use of substance like drugs or alcohol. Uh, but for some of you, you know, again, there's something questionable hap happening where, you know, maybe you're not quite on point with your perception about a situation. Maybe some of you are feeling under the weather this week. There's a lack of energy. You just feel a sense of blah. And others of you, you're very creative this week, maybe even receiving some kind of psychic impression, but your creativity is blossoming. And for others of you, your head is in the clouds, and maybe this has something to do with love. Maybe you're doing some fantasizing or some wishful thinking about a particular person. Whatever it is, this is a week where you're finding out some things and where you may be either more ahead or somewhere off track within a situation. So you've either over or underestimated something or somebody for better or for worse. So this is a week where you're having to take stock. You're re-evaluating a situation, probably a couple of your relationships. And if you don't have your priorities in order, one little thing can, you know, take you down the rabbit hole. So this is a week for you to be very mindful of how you're spending your time. You need to arrange your uh, obligations, responsibilities, whatever, in order of priority so that you can get things done. And if you do that, if you're able to organize and use your time wisely, you're going to find that in the end, you, you're way ahead of the game. You will feel as if you had a huge laundry list and you were able to tick off everything with time to spare. So, and for some of you, it could be you look, you, you know, you reflect and something that you thought, you know, was failing, you actually turn it around and turn it into some type of success for yourself. Uh, for those of you who are dealing with some kind of confusion or some somebody's under the weather or there's something not quite right, there may be a need for somebody to make an apology, you or somebody else, or somebody's making excuses. They're not living up to something, and it could cause you to have to step up and stand in. Now, maybe you're taking, picking up somebody else's responsibilities. Maybe uh, somebody canceled at work, or they called in sick, or somebody's just not doing their share. Maybe it's all of it, and you're having to step up to the plate and take on more. 
For others of you, you know, you're not seeing things clearly. You're you're making some uh, erroneous perceptions about something. And so you may be trying to paint a picture that really isn't there. Maybe you're trying to convince other people uh, that things are great, that everything's fine, when that's really not the case at all. So this is a week to get real, to try to cut through that fog, because anything that you're refusing to confront, uh, it's going to make it difficult for you to focus on situations. Uh, and it's going to keep you from having the time to direct to, to uh, activities and things that you enjoy. So this is going to be, be a week that is a little bit overwhelming where you're feeling as if you're trying to play catch up you know you're gonna feel as if you just don't have enough time or you don't have enough money or some you're running out of something so this is probably due to if you had just paid attention gotten focus prioritized your agenda and dealt with things a little bit more realistically you would have gotten ahead now again this may tie to something romantic a person or maybe this is a concept that you have romanticized in your head maybe you're taking a relationship or a, an endeavor of some sort to the next level or maybe you're still you know in this dreamy state of affairs where you know you're in this honeymoon phase of a situation where you're uh, riding on this exhilaration about your situation. 